Hi there, this is Rob Mars, and I'm going to discuss the anatomy of the biceps tendon insertion on the radial tuberosity. Now you can see in this video the radial tuberosity sitting quite forward when compared to the ulna, yeah, and particularly that's visible if, he, if it's in a supinated position such as now. But as the arm, and you can see that on this video, is rotated inward, you can also see that the radial tuberosity moves posterior when it's not visible. So for a um, scanning position, which we discuss in this video, uh, we have the arm in the supinated position. So the, the radial tuberosity is very easily identifiable and therefore we can see the uh, insertion of the biceps quite well on ultrasound. So continuing from that little video that we just showed, if you now have a look, you can see on the left hand side very nicely where the skeleton sits uh, and the radial tuberosity sits much more forward on the radius than the ulna and that clears the way from the medial aspect to actually observe that bicep tendon, which you can see is a green. You can see that next to it is a uh, artery, that's the brachial artery, and that enhances the visibility of the tendon when it's viewed from the medial aspect. So from the medial aspect, we have a straight line going down through the artery onto the tendon, and it gives us a really good view. You can see the diagram, you can see the muscles that it has to penetrate, and you can see how much, how far you have to go to the ulnar position and the medial aspect, whereas obviously the tendon is on the radial aspect of the elbow, so it's counterintuitive. But this is exactly how it should be scanned to ob obtain these nice images that we will show. And that leads to the kind of image that you can see here where there is very little, if any, there's no anisotropy. You can see the tendon fibers very clearly where they insert. This, by the way, is a landscape image, but nevertheless, you can see very nicely where it is. You can also see the acoustic window of the artery. Now, we've got some practical videos to accompany this, where you can actually see the hand position of how to obtain this image. So please have a look at that as well.